So the moment of truth has come. The gainers that I ordered back in January, and it's now the end of April, have finally arrived. So we're going to open them, see what everything looks like, because this is the new European style. Um, I've never worn the new style. I did order mine without the suede tips because I've had suede tips once before and I hated them. So I was able to order them without that. Um, I ordered the Pianissimo shank, which clearly that's not what I was wearing last. Um, I usually wear the stuff full. But to be fair, I also don't generally wear gainers. Um, I'm actually pretty much set completely now wearing Freeds and Suffolk's. So that's pretty much what's behind me. <laughs> um, so I wear Freed Classics uh, Fishmaker, and then I wear Suffolk Sonnets, um, which are very, they're very similar shoe. They're both English style shoes. Um, and I like them for different reasons. I love the Suffolk's because I feel very balanced and safe on them. And I like the Freeds because they're very soft and pliable. And some of the choreography that we've done, some one of my classes in particular, feels more like where you would need a free shoe. Um, so that's why I like those two. They do die quicker. The reason I wanted gainers again, one, I just really wanted to try the new style and see what the deal was, but also I do like them for one thing in particular, which is like when I go to Florida with my family or things like that, I usually will take these instead of my shoes to do like releves and things out on the balcony because it's so humid that it would kind of break down my other shoes really fast and those are expensive. Whereas if I wear these, they don't break down. Um, these ones actually aren't that bad, but I just, the reason I don't wear them for class is because I have to wear four boxing gainers and that looks really bulky on me and I can't really articulate through my feet well, which is also why I just don't wear gainers. So um, we're gonna unbox these and see what they look like. And I will do a follow-up of how they felt and everything like that, because I'm about to go to Florida this week, so that's kind of perfect. Um, oh my God, I'm about to cut it. Maybe, we'll see. So worn and beat up that they don't look that different from these, but you can just tell this is like a much nicer, prettier pink satin. Um, I feel like it's just a lot lighter, all I know. Days. Now it's stickered in where your size is and everything. Um, I don't know, because I actually like that in my old ones, no matter how beat up they are, I can smell really gross. Oh my gosh. Uh, whew. They're like black on the inside. That's fun. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see if their little package is different. It's not, it is a little different, but. Anyway, so yeah, I got the purple bag now. I'm going to scoot up a little closer. So, sorry the light keeps changing. It keeps going from not sunny at all to sunny, and I also get no sunlight in here, so I didn't really think it affected much. But anyway, um, so for reference, so I do in these because they're four boxes, and like I said, they don't fit me well. I do wear the little, um, how are these called? I'm shooting on two cameras, that's why, so I can do Instagram TV and YouTube. Um, the, the box liners, and this is the four box liner, I think, that I put in, which makes sense, it's a four box. Um, anyway, so I'll put it in this shoe so that I can test one shoe with each, or one foot with each shoe. I know that I can order a three and a half box. I do know that that's an option. The problem is 
both times I have tried that in the past before they did the European shoes, it did not go well. Like, for whatever reason, those shoes pull me off the box so badly. And I already don't have great feet, so I was just like, that was a waste of money. Um, so, I put on my old shoe, on, well, my old shoe is going to be on my good foot, so keep that in mind, because my left foot is way better than my right foot. Um, but we're going to do that. That's just what I happened to grab, so. Ooh, these do fit a little smaller. I kind of figured because mine have always felt more snug that I didn't need to order a different size. They did say you might need a size down. Yeah, I still got a seven and a half. And actually, these are a seven and a half. So the new, the old ones that I was wearing are a seven and a half classic, medium, four box, supple, deep vamp high heel. The new ones, which I got, are classic seven and a half, narrow instead of medium, so that does make a difference too. Four box, pianissimo, and I did, still has a high heel, but I did get a low vamp because if I was already gonna customize, I'm getting a low vamp because the only reason I didn't on those is just because they were stock shoes that I was able to just buy. So, I'm gonna draw a string here. Um, yeah, these definitely feel much stiffer already. I can tell you that much. Ooh. All right. Sorry. All right, so. This is my normal shoe. We all can see that. And then this, this feels interesting, is the new shoe. Wow, even the pianissimo, that is, granted, this is my bad foot. We're keeping that in mind, but <sighs> that feels interesting. <laughs> they are very stiff for even being the softest shank that they make. Let's try it with both feet in the new shoes and just see what happens. Granted, I have not worn my feet up at all today, at all. I've literally been just laying on the couch because we didn't have anything to do for work today. And I'm like, okay, so let's see here. Maybe I don't even need the box liners now. They're that tight, I don't know. I feel like I still will because I feel like I always sink in these and get some like bruised or broken toenails, that's just a thing I usually get. So, let's try these. I'm just interested to see how they work. I'm not, I'm not holding out much hope. I've never had great luck with gainers, so that's why I've never been able to stick with them. So, I'm looking at mine here. Hmm. The left one doesn't feel as bad. That right one feels pretty bad though, but these are the softest shank that they make. And that's much as I can get through them right now with a low band. So, I can tell you right now without having worn them for class or anything, I don't see these being a shoe that I'm ever gonna actually wear to dance in other than like taking them, like I said, so that I have a shoe to wear in the humidity that won't break down. So, that will give you a little view of it. Sorry, I've got two cameras going, so I'm trying to, like, um, the bottom's still the same, so it's made here up now, but, um, that's all for now. I'll try and update once I've worn them and everything, and we'll just see how they go. I may take them to class tonight, but I don't think I'm going to wear them for class tonight, because that's probably not going to go well, but we'll see. So in the first half of this video, which I filmed a while ago, was when I first got the new European Gators. Um, now, I have had my experiences with gaiters. I have worn many, many over the years. Sometimes they've worked for me, sometimes they haven't. Um, I actually still love this pair. Um, they're very beat up. Um, they, they look really good on my feet, and I can, like, balance really well in them. The problem is, I just can't, because I just... It's just, it's, it's a me foot, my foot thing. I don't articulate well through them, so I just don't like dance well through them. The demi point just doesn't work well with me. So that's why I wear Freed's now. Um, I wear Freed's in Suffolk, which are much more similar to each other, not so much to these. But I do still like these on occasion for things like, if it's gonna be like a photo shoot kind of thing where it's gonna be like somewhere that might like be wet, or if I'm going to Florida with my family, which I do occasionally, it's nice to take these because I know the humidity won't destroy these. Um, so that's why I like them. And I do think they look really nice on my feet. It's just, I can't, I can't functionally dance in them really well. Um, so this is a pair I've been wearing for a long time. This is a supple shank. 
Um, this is basically the exact same shoe in a pianissimo because of the new style, and it's in the new style. So I showed you guys these last time. Since then, I have tried sewing them like I normally would with the normal ribbons and elastic. I could get over the box even less. So then I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this mesh elastic instead because it really doesn't hold much for my feet. So I thought, you know, maybe less like snug elastic will help, like a looser fit. I also took off the ribbons because at that point I was like, those feel like they're pulling me back too. The shoe already feels like it's pulling me back because it arches in a weird spot that doesn't work for me, which is what I've also heard from a lot of people about these shoes. These ones break lower and it works better. The new ones break higher and most people have not had success. I am not willing to pay for more pairs of this to keep trying, like that is a very expensive shoe. And when I know that I work well in these, like I'm just gonna go with these instead. So anyway, I also, because they're a four box, I put in the little box liners. I put in the three box liner just because I don't want as much stuff taking up room in my shoe, um, in this case, because it's a narrow box. So I'll put those in. Um, and then that just keeps my, because otherwise my toenails feel like they're jamming into the floor and it doesn't help me get over any better whether I have these in or not. This just helps my toenails not hurt so bad because I have really bad big toenail problems. Um, I'm going to put on the toe pads. And then, so this is just going to show you guys. And I'll probably put on one of those too and show you just to compare. I actually took these in to the studio to show one of the girls that danced with the company is a point shoe fitter and she actually fit me in other shoes. Um, and she was interested to see the European ones when they came in. <laughs> and I showed her and she was sitting there playing with it. Like one, I like I couldn't get over it. She's also bending it. She's like, that feels harder than the like hard ones that used to come from the original gainers. And I was like, yeah, that's part of the problem. These are supposed to be the softest shank and they're not. Uh, or well, <laughs> they are, but they aren't soft anymore. So that's a big part of the problem. I know some people these work, but for me, these are not going to work. So I'll just have to make do with other things and wear my old ones when I can. So this is what they look like. I'm just like, I'm being pulled back because they're arching like way up here. It's not like a three quarter break. It's like a, well, I guess that is, but I'm more like a more half break. And these just, they just break way, way too high. So now I'm gonna put on one of the other shoes. And I'll actually, I'll leave the new shoe on my good foot and I'll put the old shoe on my bad foot because that might kind of even them out, but not really, because the other ones still look better on my feet than the new ones do. So. These are also just so broken in, they're so comfortable. I just, like I said, I would wear them normally if I could, I just can't articulate through them. But this was more a just, I wanted to see what the new European ones are like and be able to kind of give some feedback on what they're like. So, all right, so this is the new one. This is the old one. So the old one, I'm much more over in new one. I'm trying to show it from the same angle, but it just, it breaks a lot higher. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, Cause gainers don't break in. And this is supposed to be the pianissimo shank and it is so hard. Like this is the supple shank in the old one. Look at that dummy point. This, <laughs> I'm like struggling to bend this. So like, and the right foot, which is what I have the old one on is my bad foot. So that's the thing. Like, gainers don't break. That's the whole point. So like, it's not that this shoe is more broken in while the satin is, the shoes break higher now and that is the biggest problem. It is breaking like way up here for me, which does not work because my arch breaks a little lower. So personally, I need a lower breaking shoe. I am really bad at showing this, but that's what the old one looks like on me. Versus, this is a weird thing to show, I don't know why, but it just versus like, it just makes my foot look shallow too. It just doesn't even look good. 
Um, so personally for me, I like the new color. I do like that the color is lighter, uh, but I just, they also look like I'm sick of them. Like, I don't know, I keep having to bang them sideways. The other ones don't always look great, but these, I don't know. So that's my personal opinion, obviously. Everybody's different. I prefer the old USA made gainers. And I've heard talk that there's a possibility that someday they might do both. Because I have, I, I know so many people who've had a switch because they can't wear the new ones. And I even ordered mine without the suede tip because I actually hate the suede tip. I've tried it before on the old ones and I hated it. Um, but yeah, I'm just really disappointed because that's a lot of money. That was like $140 with shipping and everything and waited like months and months and they don't work. So, like I said, it was more just so that I could give an opinion on the new ones. And this is just my opinion. I still love Gainer Mindens. I just don't like the new style. I like the old ones. Um, I love their old ones. But I just, and I think especially, like, there are some girls at my studio who dance in Gainers. And they look so good. And their feet just move so well in them that it makes me wish that I could wear them. But I just, like, I can't articulate through the toes well enough in those so that's part of my problem um but i can't do anything in these and this is the softest shank like i can't go any softer so that's all i have to say on it but again this is more just for like you know um just to kind of give my opinion on it and everything obviously i know other people have their opinions but yeah that's just my opinion on how the new gainers have worked and they have not worked for me unfortunately so I will go back to wearing my freeds and my suffix and sewing my new freeds that I just got. <laughs> so that's all.